brought the daily 100 in the last video. What is up, YouTube? Kill Cam back on the pollen machine, aka the victory gunner, aka the tank. Let's get this stuff out of here, man. I forgot the bike cover for a few days, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. I've been bad covering my bikes lately, so I got pollen all over both of them. The R6 needs to go back on the trickle charger. I said I was gonna ride it this time. That battery does not want to go, and I do not want to go down a hill, drop it into first, have it start, and then go get gas and the thing not start back on me and me have to do that in public. So, we are back on the gunner until I fully charge the R6. But, I will not be on the R6 next video because I'm going down to Tallahassee next Monday through Wednesday and I will have a jelly bean video my dad's bike the Kawasaki Vulcan 650S I will have that video up for you if he lets me ride it I'm pretty sure he will he watches my video so dad can I ride jelly bean I'm asking now in advance if he says yes hopefully I can do at least two videos while I'm down there but I'm going down there spend some times with some family friends um, I have a couple buddies who will be in Tallahassee who aren't normally back in Tallahassee anymore so it's kind of like a little high school middle school reunion of some good best friends of mine excited to be down there excited to see my friends and why not jump on the jelly bean while we're down there and make a little video for you guys one subscriber said to me the other day that they are making a matte green kind of like this finish here without all the pollen Kawasaki Vulcan it might be the new one I should have looked it up before I was talking about it but he sent me a picture that thing looked too clean and the exhaust looked way better than what my dad currently has so we need to see how much that thing costs and how loud we can make it since my dad is still down to make the jelly bean louder Guys, I get that the most asked question on any gunner video is what pipes do I have on this and it's just the stage one victory straights exhaust and I'm gonna actually get off the bike oh I can't make that turn I'm gonna get off the bike somewhere up here somewhere secluded do a quick walk around I haven't done one of those in a while and I also had another subscriber he kind of kind of called me out saying I haven't done anything to the gunner um, keep in mind the free time the move my situation money's always you gotta you gotta throw money in to make your bike look good so if you don't have the free time to ride i've been kind of i love modifying stuff when i was 16 i had a toyota corolla which i thought i modified so you can imagine what a 16 year old is going to do to a corolla but just making something stock <laughs> that back tire definitely slid a little bit there Making something stock look good, look custom to you, and just changing the exhaust and all of that is so great to do to vehicles. But it does cost a lot of money and it takes some time and some effort. So if you're not riding your bikes, I just haven't been riding them enough to want to put money into my bikes lately, to be honest with you. And that's not a good thing to have. So I think either downsizing might be an option soon, or I just need to get some more free time get out here on these roads I wish I magically had another bike down in Tallahassee so that I could ride with them when I go down there but it is nice when my family comes up and visits me here because then he can jump on the spare bike which the spare bike turns into the victory gunner and I ride the R6 um, he did that last time and he loved it he really enjoyed jumping on the gunner and he hit some new roads obviously because he's not from this area so that was fun the first thing I want to fix on the gunner is the exhaust pipes um, I mentioned a while back that this bike got knocked over and I've looked it up and you can't just buy the casing for this exhaust you have to either get the whole new pipes which I don't need um, or I just think I'm really gonna cut them down take off the casing cut them down and then heat wrap them and whoever does that, because I do not have the tools to do that, whoever does that, they might take off this rear front, 
this rear fender and have an open tire. I think that look would look so nice on the gunner. And I want to put straight handlebars on here and make it more of not necessarily a show bike, but more of a jaw dropper when you see it. And then of course I've mentioned the the headlight and the speedometer. I want to change that up a little bit. But this bike is so massive, this tank is so massive, that's why it's called the tank. I love the matte green. An open tire, you take off that rear fender with an open tire gunner and I put the license plate, I don't even care where I put it, I can put it on my back for all I care. I don't care where I put that. That would look so clean in my opinion. And with a different headlight setup and the tachometer, I think if I can get that look down with some different mirrors, this bike will be a jaw dropper and it will scream. Straight bars right there, tachometer, I don't care how fast I'm going, daily 100, 24-7. <laughs> just with one mirror and this thing would look so rude that's the end result on this bike I need to find a local shop I'm in Columbia South Carolina if you guys didn't know and if you know of a local shop that wants to cut up my exhaust that wants to cut that rear frame over my tire let's get it done I just don't want someone to charge me an arm and a leg for cutting my bike apart because that's essentially all you're doing you're cutting off the frame making it an open tire. And then if you throw some white walls on the gunner, <laughs> that would be awesome. And maybe some shorter pegs so you don't grind them down all the time. Because grinding pegs feels amazing, but it's slightly sketchy every time you do it. It throws me off guard every time because I wouldn't essentially call myself a cruiser only rider. So sometimes I forget they're down there and I just go, oh. And if you've watched this video to this point, comment down there, Purple Monkey. It is Purple Monkey today on this video. I did orange potatoes last time and you guys showed an incredible amount of love. Purple Monkey today. But let's get into this walk around. Found me a nice quiet little spot to do a walk around. I haven't done a walk around on my Victory Gunner in a while. My bike is not perfect. I will be the first one here to say that. She has pollen all over her. The bike cover, like I said, has not been honored the best of my ability. I've been lazy. I have pollen everywhere. As you can see, my exhaust pipes has slight rust. That nice rustic feel from when it got knocked over. And that's what I want to do. Those covers you cannot buy anywhere. I've searched online. I cannot find them. I've called Victory. You cannot do that. Indian, nowhere to be found. So what my goal is, is we're just going to cut those things in half right there because the two... These two right here, these are nice and hot. That's why I got gloves on. If I do a nice cut pipe there, put some nice heat wrap to match that matte green, that is going to look so rude. And this is what I'm talking about. That rear fender, if that thing is gone, I love the tail light though. If that rear fender is gone and it has an open tire look with slash pipes and a straight handlebar there, that is going to be the dirtiest victory gunner in my mind. And that's all that matters at this point. And I said I wanted to mess with the headlight a little bit and that tachometer, probably get some of that chrome out of there. Um, but other than that, this bike is brutal. It is comfortable. It is the best thing since sliced bread to me. And I didn't spend a fortune on it. That's a good girl. I love this bike, man. I just want to say thank you guys for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. Y'all take it easy. Kill the cam out.